Well, hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. As we continue to try and go through the garages and see if we can find some space, the garage tour continues. And we're, we're going to, in this video, we're just doing Maze Bank because Maze Bank has enough cars. And we should have at least one that we can sell off. And we're going to start out here with the dubs to 6x6. Six six. This was a very special car to get because you had to be ranked 100 to get it back in the day. I don't know if you still do. And, of course, this is dump like the one Richard Hammond drove across the desert, the real-life equivalent. Nice vehicle to drive. Happy to have it. This is another another Hammond homage to a giant armored car he drove through... What country was it? I forget, but he was driving through brick walls and things. It's just an insurgent. I have another one. I mean, I still have the white elephant, so I have two of these. I Could I get rid of this? Have I thought about getting rid of this? Yes, but is it too perfect a match for the... Top Gear Garage, yes, so it, it's going to stay for now. If I get really, really pressed, it's kind of kind of on the bubble. I don't think I'd ever get rid of the White Elephant because I've had too, too much history with that, and we'll get to that later on. This was... I originally had all three buggies done up like they did in... Uh, what special was that? It was uh, Namibia? Something like that? The Namibian Desert? I forget which... which episode it was but this was as close as I could get to Clarkson's it was the only one with a wing although his wing was on the nose um, which made precious little help and sense but it all right this one is this is my doom buggy what is it officially called the bifta there it is. this is my bifta hardly ever drive it but if you, you gotta have a bifta I mean they're just it's a bifta how can you not mainstream turismo classic here this is my main car for any kind of racing that involves sports classics. As you can see, it is done up in red as most GT40s were. Love the car. It's a great car to drive. Not going anywhere, obviously. The Osiris. Now, the Osiris, I've, I've done this up very much like the uh, the Pagani that they, they did back in the day. Was it, was it a water out or was it the other one? I don't remember. But so this is our Pagani. You have to have an Osiris. It's a, I think this is a recent acquisition, actually. But you gotta have an Osiris. It was made available. I think it's removed, but it was made available. Maybe not. Might be just on sale. But we got this one. That's not going anywhere. Chevrolet done in uh, crew over chrome, and the crew really dominates the chrome for a lot of this. But it does make it nice and shiny. Chabarek is one of those sublime vehicles that is just fun. I don't, I, I can't even explain why it's so much fun just to kind of drift around. and It doesn't drift as much as a drift car, but it drifts a bit. And you could just have an awful lot of fun with it. It's it, it's one of the, the most nicely balanced, for what it's supposed to be kind of cars that there is. And I'm glad I got a Chabarek. I got two. I got one of the other characters too, but I got this one. And this one's not going anywhere. FCR 1000? Yeah, there you go. FCR 1000 Custom. This is done up like one of Richard Hammond's army bike kind of things. And is it like a winning race bike? I don't think so. I'll have to take it out as a bold choice one of these days. I thought about getting rid of this, but it's a removed bike. It's, it's, it's FOMO'd out, so it's now priceless, and it's not going anywhere. Silly FOMO. So much of this is FOMO. <clears throat> the Emirates, which I've just gotten into driving regularly, and I'm, it's starting to grow on me. You gotta love an Emirates. There, it's again. There's been a couple situations where I think it, I, it might have bit me on on sliding out, where the Krieger might not have. But I'm still having a good time driving it. It's going to be regularly in the rotation. This is the knee what neon. Okay, there's a bunch of neos, neons, knee this, knee that, knee jerk. I love the build on this. I love the paint. I love the, uh, the the wheels, the slicer wheels. It drives okay. It has a lot, it has good acceleration. Every time I thought I've, ta I've taken it racing, I've taken I've raced this in a Bruffy stream once. Did not end well, as far as my position in the. But you know, it, I have history with this car. That's not going anywhere. Now this is the uh, Fury. It took me a second. Fury is just another nice car to drive. It looks like it belongs here. Again, another another bold choice I'll have to take out in racing one of these days. Just to mix things up. Again, not going anywhere. 
Ah, uh, yes. The Cyclone. It took me again. It took me a minute. What are we calling this? This Cyclone is done up, at least with the paint, as close as I could make it uh, to the car that Richard Hammond drove off a cliff on the on the hill climb there. Um, they've changed the name right now. Was it something Mark 1? Oh, what the hell are they called? I forget. But anyway, it's the one that burned for four days. That's going to... Uh, I'm just having a metal block here. But it's another, this is another Hammond kind of thing going on. This car, by the way, not nearly as fast as the one in real life. It's got the acceleration, not the top end. The top, that was 1,200 horsepower. It just goes. Another Hammond kind of thing. This is the, the you know, my Zensorno, but it's done up like the uh, Sesti uh, Sesti. Elemento, I forget how exactly, I think that's the name of it. The one he had years and years ago. The entire carbon fiber Lamborghini. Done up carbony. So now, you know, you have his internal. It's, it's, it's de rigueur. You have to have it. Tempesta. Do I need to keep a Tempesta? I, I'm never going to race it. It doesn't have the top end. It's got good grip. This might be good in a city race. I might consider this for a city race. It is pretty. It is one of those things that you have to have. So we're going to keep that. Believe it or not, I like the Reaper a little bit more. It's not as fast. But, I mean, it's just... It, it still has a little bit of, you know, that styling from the days when they weren't trying to actually make them look like perfect replicas of what the actual car was. The Reaper is its own thing. At least in my own opinion. And so, yeah, the Reaper stays. Let's bop down... The next floor. Booby dooby 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 doo. Go around to the end here. All right, this is the what they called the Holy Trinity back in the early days of Grand Tour. Now you got your T20, okay? You got your Turismo and your A11, and those represented the three cars that were used in the the pilot of uh, the Grand Tour. That they compared to which one was the fastest, and this the T20 was supposed to be the fastest on paper. I think the LaFerrari ended up being the one that was actually the better, or was it the Porsche? I forget. Doesn't matter. Or these two were basically tied, and this one was slightly slower because of issues. But you know, you gotta have all three of these cars anyway, because I mean, they're just as far as their GTA lore is concerned. You know, this is still one of the fastest top ends, even though the handling is not great. This is one of the best all-arounders up until this came out. And it's like, you know, the Osiris was, was one right... You know, it was, I think the Osiris came out between the two of them. Some people still like the Osiris better. The T20. We're all mid-range at this point. Um, I'll stay in. This is my homage to the scooter thing that uh, Clarkson broke his ribs on in Vietnam. It's pretty close. I'm not gonna put clips in on this, by the way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through because it, it would take, it would be a forever video if we did that. If I pulled the video clips from all of these things, and at some point I'm gonna get buzzed for copyright. This one, the GP1, GP1, GP1. Not the best performer, but it, it does look awfully close to a McLaren F1, and it's, uh, it's pretty, even in brown. Look at the frosty brown here. That they would call it over on the fail race channel. Um, yeah, I, I think I got this one again. It was a limited availability kind of thing. I don't think you can get this anymore, but I could be wrong. FMJ, uh, I believe uh, Clarkson drove a similar, uh, you know, Ford GT through. Um, it was through my hometown, or at least around it, because they, they they showed him when he was driving to New York. And I'm almost positive they had some clip where he was on either 80 or 380. So, and, and the FMJ is a pretty good all-rounder. So we're going to keep that. And now we're going to go to garage number two and work our way down. And we'll run to the top and stroll down the stairs. Do 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 do. Let's run it up. Run it up. This is a homage garage, you know, you know, there's just so much in here that's 
done for purpose. Okay, we start out with Herbie, only an insane version of Herbie. This is the movie that they haven't made yet, but probably should. Land Rocket Herbie, which says incredible top speed but can't steer. That 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 I'd watch that movie. The Pink Panther. You know I love a pun. So when you have you know, it's seriously, it's the Panther. If you make the E silent, it's the Pink Panther. Okay. So we have the Pink Panther. Do -doom, do -doom. Then we have a, a faction donk that is my Easter special. It looks like an Easter egg. It's very Easter eggy. Does it not look like an egg? It's got big Easter eggy kind of wheels, and although they are round and the eggs aren't. Still, this is the thing I bring out for Easter whenever possible. Just like this, uh, this Moonbeam Custom, I bring out for a St. Patrick's Day whenever possible. I haven't taken this on Duel in a while, but it's, you know, it is considered a muscle car. But, yeah. Custom St. Patty's Day Special. Frankenstunt eyes I recall, I actually spent money to get a shark guard to make sure I could get the Frankenstunt and the, and the Lurcher over here. So they're not going anywhere. I've actually paid for these. Back in the day before I could make any, I was any good at making money. I think they're only available at Halloween anyway. I think you, once you've got them, you can get them. But once you've already got them, then why would you want to get them? Best sounding car in the game, probably. And I have I have another one of these in another garage. But this is you know one of the Halloween specials. Obviously another Halloween special. Love them both. They're not going anywhere. Now, if you're if you're old enough and you remember GTA Vice City, this is my homage to the Tommy Versetti Saber Turbo that you used to be able to get once you got the um, the car lot. I think you could put, you could take this out anytime you wanted to. And I even did the wheels up so it looks like that low res, just white wheels that it had back in that game. And this actually this isn't a, this isn't a it says Saber Turbo. It's not a Saber Turbo custom. It is just a regular Saber Turbo. You can't quite get the right look from a, uh, a Saber Turbo Custom. So, not competitive, but it's uh, it's definitely one to keep in my book. I mean, the, the the roll cage probably screws it up a little bit. We could see Tommy adding that and then putting it up for sale. And then I get it as a collectible. And then there you go. Booga, 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 booga. More homages. Let us go from this side. Okay, in the last video I talked about, I used to have a Fudo that was initial D. Now we got the Fudo GTX, and it is a perfect, well, as perfect as GT is going to get, you know, to the initial D tofu runner. They even have tofu on the side here for that livery. So this is the tofu car. I don't know if the the Japanese reads properly, but you can, that's what, it's what Rockstar did, not what I did. That's a... Uh, so here we have, with the right wheels and everything else like that, that's going to stay, obviously. The Mirthmobile. One of my earliest, earliest homages and one of the ones I actually built a video on this years and years and years ago. And, you know, it doesn't come out very much. You know, it's the Rhapsody is just not real quick. It used to be not bad. I mean, it's not, it is somewhat competitive. But, you know, with the, with the new cars out with the club, yeah, you're, you're better off racing the club. Now, this is Minata. It's, it's that kind of a lower tier for me as far as an homage is concerned because it is easily replaceable. But this is uh, my uh, my 48 hours car. As close as I can get to Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy cruise around in 48 hours. Might have also been in another 48 hours. I don't remember if they kept the same car. But this is 48 hours. I watched it as, as a kid or something. I remember when we watched I have no recollection as to the overall plot. Something about Eddie Murphy... Getting out of jail and helping a cop. I don't remember. It was. I remember it was funny. I remember from one of the movies, Anybody Else Want a Limp? That was a great one. But, it, yeah, so we keep... Never moves. This thing never moves anywhere. It's just here to to be the, the car from 40, you know, 48 hours. This is, of course, my homage to the family truckster. Got the metallic P going. And the wood. I, is it is it accurate enough? Probably not, but there's there's some good times with this, of course, to be had. And this has um yeah, just a plain plate. Family truckster. Then of course you have to have a General Lee. 
This is my Dukes. It's called the Dukes. I mean, they, they obviously were shooting for General Lee. They won't let you have the rebel flag, though. So I got an American flag on it. Oh, it looks funny there. I don't know if that's my monitor or what, but... I just have something on the door. I put a... Uh, the base Ook Ook logo. Which, there's a long story of that. It went back to stuff that went, went down when we were playing Microsoft Freelancer. Flying around pretending that genetically enhanced gorillas had taken over our spaceships and were just shooting everybody. And all we would say in the chat was, Ook 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 a few times we get there weren't enough people online to really make it work. But it was it was fun times and we tried to do something. We tried to do a thing. And so hence that we hang on to that. I have looked a couple different ways of getting the actual base logo up there, but I really don't want to pay it for anybody and then like, you know, I mean I daddy so like I don't I really don't know what the 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 um the most uh, legit way of doing that is. But we'll we'll see as as life goes on. There's my general E clone. A lot of people use the beater dupes because you can get the proper hood from the beater dupes, but the beater dupes is slower, and I just can't bring myself to make the generally slower than another dupes when it's actually called the dupes, okay? It's just what it is. Mystery machine. There are a lot of different ways of building the mystery machine. This is the way I chose to do mine. Uh, I thought rather than put a clashing green up here, it was because some, something else, because that's how it was working out. It wasn't looking good. I put an orange. This may get reworked at some point, but it's not its not too bad. And it's its so slow you don't want to necessarily drive it. Oh, I've got a mystery machine. This is a little quicker, and it, it may trigger you. Because this is obviously supposed to be the A-Team van. The, the stripe is obviously not perfect. It should go up and then kind of flow through the, uh, the what you would call it. But this is the gang burrito. This is how they built it. They tell me that the uh, the real A team van, the top is silver. I just don't. That that was something that started happening where it was noticed just a few years ago. I always remember it this way. I'm I'm in that Mandela effect group of people that said, "What happened here? Why do I remember this incorrectly?" And I'm pretty sure the movie the movie might be like this. And they said they tried to make the movie van as identical to the original van, but the original van is silver on top. Um, I can logic my way out of it not being a warped universe kind of thing. I didn't slide universes or something like that in through the multiverse by saying that, you know, old TVs, you might not be able to tell the cell difference between dark silver and black, so hey, maybe I couldn't see it, you know? But this is where it is. This is my A-team. And most of these, they're not getting a lot of road use. The ones on the first floor, they get some road use. do 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 Okay, here we have our Knight Rider 2000 homage, which does light up red lights. I think we can, we can get the red lights to come on here. Take it outside, the viewpoint here. My ZZ8. Come on, headlights. It's not letting me turn the headlights on. The headlights are red. You're going to have to take my word for it because I'm not taking this out. But there you go. We have the. That's going to stay obviously. You got the 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 Night Rider two. If you ever saw the Night Rider two thousand movie that was on, on television back in the day? If you haven't, you're probably like most people. But they 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 put Kit's brain in the Night Industries three thousand, and then at the end, and then he takes off and saves. And there's all kinds of software and compatibility problems. It's Lars. This is supposed to be as close as I could get it to uh, the ZZ Top Hot Rod in I Gots to Get Paid. Which is, you know, that's a nice set of wheels. And, you know, if you're going to have a Hustler, and this is a Hustler, right? Yeah. That's not a bad build. I mean, even if you don't know the video. Yeah, of course, you have to have the Speed Racer Mach 5. The scramjet. Another car I feel like I should take out more often, but I just... It's an amazing thing how this thing just guides itself to water and destroys itself. Like, regularly. I leap this thing in the air. It doesn't matter how far inward of the map it is. It will find a pool. But I'm certainly not going to sell it. It's way too expensive, number one. The, the hit I would take on this is unbelievable. I'm not... I am not getting rid of my, uh, my scramjet. It's a Chevy? Oh, okay. Batmobile. I can't remember. Did I spend... Did I spend... 
shark card money on this instead of the other ones. I mean, I remember it was a Halloween deal that I spent the shark. This might have been the shark card deal I needed help with. But I did get the uh, Batmobile. I think I did something weird with this where I put purple over black. And it, it just looks like more than just, just a clear coat. I don't know why, but it, it has that little bit of purple from the comics black. Like they do in the comics where they make the the black purple as opposed to what you call it. But it's still black enough where it, it looks like the 89 Batmobile. That's my that's my contribution to Batmobiles here. 89 Batmobile is still my favorite. That's not going anywhere. I should take this out more often. You got the Oppressor Mark 1, which is not the Mark Douche. This is, of course, Street Hawk. Love Street Hawk. You, know, still, you guys, if you watch any of my uh, my clips, a lot of, oftentimes, if I speed up the footage, I play the Street Hawk theme because that's what they used to do. They would take footage of this guy riding the bike, and he could be riding it at 10 miles an hour, doing all these really tight turns and stuff like that, and then they would speed it up so it's supposed to be 300. And it was just, just hilarious. I mean, really, the special effects on that show. If you ever get a chance, don't take it seriously. Just watch the show and then wait for when they go to hyperthrust. And then laugh your ass off, because that's just what, what it's going to do. And I have to keep the Oppressor Mark 1 just for that. But, but, all this stuff mostly sits there. The one I live on. The car, mwah, The one that, that, that I drive more than any other vehicle in this game is the Deluxo. And I love my Deluxo, and I love you. You're just such a good car. You're a good car, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a good car. Oh, man. I just use this more than anything else. It flies and it shoots missiles. What more do you want? Never even mind the machine guns. It's got missiles. Some of the, the best missiles in the game. I love this car. It's just great. Still haven't sold anything. We're going to sell something before the end of the day here. Which means it's going to be one of the cars in uh, Office 1. So let's run to the top here. Where are we running? We're running to the top of Office 1. And we're going to see what stays and what goes. Booga, booga, booga. Start at the end here. What are they calling this one? That's right. The Tulip M100. That was a... Which is, I think, an, in, an interesting way with this. is They took a, a car from the A and they gave it a drag build. Which I think is beautiful. And I love this car. Even though it's not really going to do anything for me in races. It's a drag build, you know, 80s kind of boxy kind of sedan. I like it. Boxy sort of coupe. It's in muscle, so it's too bad it's not in coops, but, you know, we'll, we'll take what we could get here. I like this build. The Custom Surfer, I like the way the build on this. I just like the way that we did the colors and everything. It looks cool. And I just like to have some vans sometimes, because sometimes you set yourself up or like, well, gee, I set my, my location to the garage. Where was he sleeping? Maybe he's taking a nap in the back of the van. You never know. It's, uh, you got like, even though this is one of the slowest and most painful things to drive, we're not getting rid of this anytime soon. Love the build on that Custom Surfer. These two go together. You got a Surge and a Guardian. Surge and the Guardian are both Transformers references. Honestly, could I get rid of the Surge? Probably no problem. There's really no use for it. That's going to be like a fallback point if I really have to get rid of these. I believe... The Surge you can get off the street. I don't think you can buy anymore. The um, the Guardian. I mean, the Guardian's in the industrials. Can you still get the get the uh, the Guardian? It, that might be removed content as well. I don't know. It doesn't see. It's not easy to find. So I I don't want to get rid of any removed content. So these two are going to be, you know, Jolt and uh, and Ironhide for a while here. I thought they had, cre they had chromes on this. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, the Warner, I have had this car and gotten rid of it and had this car and got it a, a couple times. It is based. Does it have a matchbox plate? Yeah, it does. I do have a matchbox of this car. Basically, the, the old Skyline. Not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon. Now you got these Stingers. Stingers removed content. I'm glad I got these. They are beautiful. Will I ever take them in a sports classic race? No, I don't know. We'll see. But they're pretty. They're nice, bright, happy Ferraris. We're gonna we're gonna keep those here. 
or, or, or the other vehicles mixed in there too. Running out of cars to get rid of, but we have, you know, cars to get rid of. We have, here's another, let's go around here. You got three Eudoras. Eudora based on my old Buick Regal. Same color scheme and pattern. My Crazy Taxi, which you can actually do Crazy Taxi workload with now that they changed that up. So, which I may, I may do that at some point. Have a Crazy Taxi day. I hold on to that, to that car for such purposes. And I have another Eudora that I did as an homage to the 81 Oldsmobile Delta 88, which we had gotten a while back. My uncle had put a 455 in it, and this thing would just spin the tires forever. It, it was a diesel conversion, so the gearing was just ridiculous. And, uh, I mean, you could you could be doing 100 miles an hour with this, and the speed on would be reading 30. I mean, it was just bizarre. So I have three... Eudoras. And you say, hey, well, which one are you going to keep? All of them, and don't even argue with me. I love the Eudora, and that's all there is to it. La Carousse? Yep, La Carousse. It's there. It's a thing. This is one of the top cars. This is an S-tier car. We're, we're going to keep this. Even if it's because I don't have the HSW. It's not going to take a you know a GTO in, the, in any of these races, because it doesn't have the top end. But it definitely trumps uh, Bumblebee as far as, you know, any kind of rally kind of stuff. It's just too good. El Tigre, as I call it. We're going to we're gonna keep La Carus. Now this one, what the heck, is a deity. I have an extra deity. I have my Christmas deity. This one I got because it has a rare livery. I think I, I forget whether I bought it with a rare livery or got it off the, the uh, podium with a rare livery, but it's got a rare livery. And the deity's a nice car, so we're keeping that. This one, the BJ. You think that mouth is getting dry. I got this one, I think, again, removed car. But what it's got going for us is that it is a BJ. It is painted shafter purple with a Fister pink uh, pearlescent. This is the most sexual car I have. And I'm very fond of it. Again, not a bad driver either. We're keeping this one. This is the Neo, right? Neo, yeah. Visser Neo, a nice driving car. It's competitive. It's purple. What more does it need to be? You gotta like it. And as that one's saying, look at the way the engine looks in the back. That's just that's just raw. You gotta like it. First floor, we're really counting down here, gang. We got the Ghostbusters. We got the we got Ecto One, the Brigham. We gotta go find all those ghosts so we can get the livery. That's Dan. Uh, we got the you know Crockett's uh, Testarossa here in the sports class. You know the, the, this is an actual. This is competitive. It's competitive with the Turismo. Gotta hang on to Crockett's. Uh, gee, I used to have this in the nightclub, but then I needed some room in the nightclub for my spy uh, for my spy uh, group kind of things. And I got people talking outside the door for for you know my my. Spy you know, you'll, you'll see when we go through the nightclub. You'll see the nightclub uh, special uh, spy garage. This was in there for all. Now it's out here in the garage with all the white cars. Keeping that. This is my current white elephant. I have the original white elephant somewhere in another garage. This is a mainline usable armored pickup with mines. Fully armored up. Don't use it nearly enough. We will have to bring this one out. I mean, Panker have to go wild with this at some point. We'll just go around and blast the crap out of stuff. Might change the gun up. The gun's got the upgrade, but as I recall, the other gun does more damage. Just does more rate of fire. So it just depends on what you need. And we've talked before. My love of the Duke of Death. and This one is done up in the Jason the Wheel Warriors colors. Just like the... Uh, just like this one. Just like, you know... Just like this one. Not going anywhere. Love this car. Not going anywhere. Need this car. This is another one of those... Mm, the Armor Crewman is one of the cars that everybody has to have. You have to have this. If you're, especially if you're going to do contact missions. This is the one. Okay? Just period. The one. You just drive around safe and shoot people. And it's lovely. And I hope they never change it. It's just... Mwah. Which means there's only one car left, folks. What car am I getting rid of? That's the Pooh Biscuit. 
Yes, that's right. It's the Issy Rally. This was limited edition for a week, and they took it away. And I didn't have that, so I had some FOMO feelings about that. And then they finally made it available, like, again for another week. I got it for the FOMO of that week, and then they took it away again. And then when they took away all the other hundreds of cars, uh, over 200 cars or something like that, what did they say? They said, hey, is this a four-door... I know it's a back. They said, oh, well, you can have the, the, the Weenie Issy Rally forever for only $1.8 million. I did a whole video on this. I have two of them. I may not have two of them after. I'm only going to have one of them after a day, and I'll have to think about the other one. The other one's got a wilder paint job. This I wanted to go more sedate. Like, this is what it would actually look like if you got one. But it's not very fast. It's not fun to drive. It's not rare. It's wildly expensive. I could probably get a good 900k selling it. The Winnie, it's not super great off road. It's not bad off road. You can't sell it from here. But we can sell this. The Pooh Biscuit. And you can see what it pushes. Yeah, the push is really hard. Acceleration is not great. Top end is not horrible. But again, I can't get HSW for this because I'm on PC. And if I could, there's, you know, you're better off with the HSW Astron. It's not... It's not exceptionally good. It's, it's just not what it is. It's not a rally car. If they called this the Issy Mommy Wagon, or something like that, or the, or the Issy, um, the Issy Family Truckster, you know, something along those lines. That's what it is. It's a family truckster of a car. You're, you're standing right where I need to go. Uh, cool. Excuse me. A lot of cars out here today. Wow. You know, we're selling this one. Say goodbye to that place. What the best mechanic in LS do for you? Because you probably, I don't know, I don't think you ever reuse these plates, do they? Do they reuse plates? 86 Ugin 606. No, I did my best with it, like kind of an orange over a brown, but it's still the poo biscuit. And I need well, you know, if, I would have kept it if I would have gotten another garage, but it is all right. 1.2 million, we're getting a good amount back. You sure you want to sell this vehicle? Make it done. So now I have one parking space in all of Maze Bank and all of my more regular garages. I still have more garages to look through. And now there's some you know, ridiculous cooldown I have to wait before I sell another car. So that's all going to happen in another video if I even find another car to sell. That's the only one in all of this I had any kind of plans of selling was the Pubius kit. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this, this series will continue at some point. But until that time, this is your Black Knight. And even after that time, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.